Hello everybody, this is Pastor Chris from St. Andrew Christian Church and here to talk about our sermon for this coming week. We're in the middle of our Advent season and the theme for Advent is Room in the Inn and uh, we've been using a theme kind of the opposite of what the scripture says of no room in the inn and interesting enough the actual scripture for this week is from Luke uh, that actually talks about no room in the inn and so this coming Sunday we'll look at that kind of traditional passage from Luke that chapter 2 passage where Mary and Joseph need to make their way to the city of Bethlehem and and find a place to stay and when they arrive and they're trying to find a place to stay uh, they're basically said that there's no room in the inn we need to find alternative um, means by which you can sleep and find a place to to nestle in for the night or for the next few days. Um, such an interesting concept to me of, of making room in the inn or there's no room in the inn. Uh, the Kind of the custom in first century world was not so much, we think of no room in the inn, my brain goes to like a Motel 6 or a hotel or a Best Western or something like that. Like when you, know, you see that little neon sign, no vacancy, like there's no room there. It's kind of where my brain goes to start with. But in first century world, there was not really those kinds of places. Uh, it was the responsibility of a community when there was a stranger or someone passing through town. It was the responsibility of the community to take care of those people. And there was a kind of a social kind of norm of we take care of the stranger, the person that's passing through. And so granted, it might have been busy if there was this census going on and all this craziness. I can't imagine saying, well, we're chock full we got no room for you I and mean, we've got a, a pregnant woman we've got you know you think you make some kind of exception for that um it begs the question of what is it about people that say there's no room for you and we clearly live in a world now where there's lots of people that have pre-decided who gets a room and who doesn't get a room or where the no vacancy sign is put up when there's clearly a lot of rooms available, but they already said no vacancy even when they know there's room there. And so this, this journey that Joseph and Mary make, um, it becomes clear to them that in the whole dynamics of navigating people, how challenging it is uh, to live up to what it means to be hospitable to one another. Um, and on top of that, Mary and Joseph were struggling with their own dynamics of preparing room for a child to come into the world. Not only room for them to stay, but room for expanding their family and, and what all that would mean. So all that we will kind of dip into this week and explore of what it means to make room or to prepare room um, as we continue down the season of Advent. So I hope you'll join us on Sunday.